John Barry Prendergast, the 3rd of November 1933 to the 30th of January 2011, was an English composer and conductor of film music. He composed the scores for 11 of the James Bond films between 1963 and 1987, and also arranged and performed the James Bond theme to the first film in the series, 1962's Dr. No. He wrote the Grammy and Academy Award-winning scores to the film's Dances with Wolves and Out of Africa, as well as the theme for the British television cult series The Persuaders, in a career spanning over 50 years. In 1999, he was appointed OBE for services to music. Born in York, Barry spent his early years working in cinemas owned by his father. During his national service with the British Army in Cyprus, Barry began performing as a musician after learning to play the trumpet. Upon completing his national service, he formed his own band in 1957, the John Barry Seven. He later developed an interest in composing and arranging music, making his debut for television in 1958. He came to the notice of the makers of the first James Bond film Dr. No, who were dissatisfied with a theme for James Bond given to them by Monty Norman. This started a successful association between Barry and Eon Productions that lasted for 25 years. He received many awards for his work, including five Academy Awards, two for Born Free, and one each for The Lion in Winter for which he also won the first BAFTA Award for Best Film Music, Dances with Wolves and Out of Africa, both of which also won him Grammy Awards. He also received ten Golden Globe Award nominations, winning once for Best Original Score for Out of Africa in 1986. Barry completed his last film score, Enigma, in 2001 and recorded the successful album Eternal Echoes the same year. He then concentrated chiefly on live performances and co-wrote the music to the musical Brighton Rock in 2004 alongside Don Black. In 2001, Barry became a fellow of the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers and Authors, and, in 2005, he was made a fellow of the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. Barry was married four times and had four children. He moved to the United States in 1975 and lived there for the remainder of his life until his death in 2011. Topic. Biography Topic. Early life and education Barry was born John Barry Prendergast, in York, England, and was the son of an English mother and an Irish father. His mother was a classical pianist. His father, John Xavier Jack Prendergast, from Cork, was a projectionist during the silent film era, who later owned a chain of cinemas across northern England. As a result of his father's work, Barry was raised in and around cinemas in northern England and he later stated that this childhood background influenced his musical tastes and interests. Barry was educated at St. Peter's School, York, and also received composition lessons from Francis Jackson, organist of York Minster. Topic. Career Serving in the British Army, Barry spent his national service playing the trumpet. During his army service, he took a correspondence course with jazz composer Bill Russo. He also worked as an arranger for the Jack Parnell and Ted Heath's orchestra, and formed his own band in 1957, the John Barry Seven, with whom he had some hit records on Emmy's Columbia label. These included Hit and Miss. The theme tune he composed for the BBC's Jukebox Jury programme, a cover of the Johnny Smith song, Walk Don't Run, and a cover of the theme for the United Artists' Western The Magnificent Seven. By 1959 Barry was gaining commissions to arrange music for other acts, starting with a young trio on Decca, coincidentally called the Three Barry Sisters, though unrelated both to Barry and the more famous Barry Sisters duo in America. The career breakthrough for Barry was the BBC television series Drumbeat, when he appeared with the John Barry Seven. He was employed by Emmy from 1959 until 1962 arranging orchestral accompaniment for the company's singers, including Adam Faith. He also composed songs along with Les Van Dyke and scores for films in which Faith was featured. 
When Faith made his first film, Beat Girl 1960, Barry composed, arranged and conducted the score, his first. His music was later released as the UK's first soundtrack album. Barry also composed the music for another Faith film, Never Let Go, also 1960, orchestrated the score for Mix Me a Person, 1962, and composed, arranged and conducted the score for The Amorous Prawn, also 1962. In 1962, Barry transferred to Ember Records, where he produced albums as well as arranging them. These achievements caught the attention of the producers of a new film called Dr. No, 1962, who were dissatisfied with a theme for James Bond given to them by Monty Norman. Barry was hired and the result was one of the most famous signature tunes in film history, the James Bond theme. Credit goes to Monty Norman, see here, when the producers of the Bond series engaged Lionel Bart to score the next James Bond film from Russia with Love 1963, they discovered that Bart could neither read nor write music. Though Bart wrote a title song for the film, the producers remembered Barry's arrangement of the James Bond theme and his composing and arranging for several films with Adam Faith. Lionel Bart also recommended Barry to producer Stanley Baker for his film Zulu 1964. Bart and Barry worked together in the film Man in the Middle. This was the turning point for Barry, and he subsequently won five Academy Awards and four Grammy Awards, with scores for, among others, Born Free 1966, The Lion in Winter 1968, Midnight Cowboy 1969, for which he did not receive an on-screen credit, and Somewhere in Time 1980, Barry was often cited as having had a distinct style which concentrated on lush strings and extensive use of brass. However he was also an innovator, being one of the first to employ synthesizers in a film score on Her Majesty's Secret Service, also 1969, and to make wide use of pop artists and songs in Midnight Cowboy. Because Barry provided not just the main title theme but the complete soundtrack score, his music often enhanced the critical reception of a film, notably in Midnight Cowboy, the first remake of King Kong 1976, Out of Africa 1985, and Dances with Wolves 1990. Barry would often watch films and would note down with pen and paper what worked or what did not. Barry composed the theme for the TV series The Persuaders, 1971, also known as The Unlucky Heroes, in which Tony Curtis and Roger Moore were paired as rich playboys solving crimes. The instrumental recording features the symbolum, which Barry also used for the Ipcress file, 1965, and other themes, and Moog synthesizers. The theme was a hit single in many European countries including France, Germany, and the Benelux states, contributing to the cult status of the series in Europe, and the record featured Barry's The Girl with the Sun in Her Hair on the B-side, an instrumental piece featured in a long-running TV advert for Sunsilk Shampoo. Barry also wrote the scores to a number of musicals, including the 1965 Passion Flower Hotel lyrics by Trevor Peacock, the successful 1974 West End show Billy lyrics by Don Black, and two major Broadway flops, Lolita, My Love 1971, with Alan J. Lerner as lyricist, and The Little Prince and the Aviator 1981, again with lyricist Don Black. In 2001, the University of York conferred an honorary degree on Barry, and in 2002 he was named an honorary freeman of the City of York. During 2006, Barry was the executive producer on an album entitled Here's to the Heroes by the Australian ensemble The Ten Tenors. The album features a number of songs Barry wrote in collaboration with his lyricist friend, Don Black. Barry and Black also composed one of the songs on Shirley Bassey's 2009 album, The Performance. The song, entitled, Our Time Is Now, is the first written by the duo for Bassey since, Diamonds Are Forever. <laughs> <laughs> James Bond series After the success of Dr. No, Barry was hired to compose and perform 11 of the next 14 James Bond films. Monty Norman is legally recognized as the composer of the James Bond theme. In his tenure with the film series, Barry's music, variously brassy and moody, achieved very wide appeal. For From Russia with Love he composed 007 
An alternative James Bond signature theme, which is featured in four other Bond films Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, Diamonds Are Forever and Moonraker. The theme, Stalking, for the teaser sequence of From Russia With Love, was covered by colleague Marvin Hamlish for The Spy Who Loved Me 1977. The music and lyrics for From Russia With Love's title song were written by Lionel Bart, whose musical theater credits included Oliver. Barry also contributed indirectly to the soundtrack of the spoof version of Casino Royale 1967. His Born Free theme appears briefly in the opening sequence. In Goldfinger 1964, he perfected the Bond sound, a heady mixture of brass, jazz elements and sensuous melodies. There is even an element of Barry's jazz roots in the big band track, Into Miami, which follows the title credits and accompanies the film's iconic image of the camera lens zooming toward the Fontainebleau Hotel in Miami Beach. Jimmy Page was working as a session guitarist at the time, and was a part of the recording sessions for the Goldfinger soundtrack. For Bond films, session musicians such as Page were relegated to the instrumental, score versions of songs, while the main musicians on Goldfinger such as Vic Flick were given the main film theme song to record. Thus, Flick is heard as lead guitarist on the main theme, leaving Page as a background acoustic contributor to Flick on the instrumental version of the song. Barry's love for the Russian Romantic composers is often reflected in his music, in his Bond scores he unites this with brass-heavy jazz writing. His use of strings, lyricism, half-diminished chords, and complex key shifting provides melancholy contrast, in his scores this is often heard in variations of the title songs that are used to underscore plot development. As Barry matured, the Bond scores became more lushly melodic, along with other scores of his such as Out of Africa, as in Moonraker 1979, and Octopussy 1983. Barry's score for A View to a Kill was traditional, but his collaboration with Duran Duran for the title song was contemporary and reached number one in the United States and number two in the UK singles chart. Both A View to a Kill and the Living Daylights theme by AHA blended the pop music style of the bands with Barry's orchestration. In 2006, AHA's Pal Waiktar complimented Barry's contributions. I loved the stuff he added to the track, I mean it gave it this really cool string arrangement. That's when for me it started to sound like a Bond thing. Barry's last score for the Bond series was The Living Daylights, 1987, Timothy Dalton's first film in the series with Barry making a cameo appearance as a conductor in the film. Barry was intended to score License to Kill 1989, but was recovering from throat surgery at the time and it was considered unsafe to fly him to London to complete the score. The score was completed by Michael Kamen. David Arnold, a British composer, saw the result of two years' work in 1997 with the release of Shaken and Stirred, the David Arnold James Bond Project, an album of new versions of the themes from various James Bond films. Arnold thanks Barry in the sleeve notes, referring to him as the governor. Almost all of the tracks were John Barry compositions, and the revision of his work met with his approval. He contacted Barbara Broccoli, producer of the then-upcoming Tomorrow Never Dies, to recommend Arnold as the film's composer. Arnold also went on to score four subsequent Bond films, The World Is Not Enough, Die Another Day, Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace. Sole compositional credit for the James Bond theme is assigned to Monty Norman, who was contracted as composer for Dr. No. Some 30 years later, in 2001, the disputed authorship of the theme was examined legally in the High Court in London after Norman sued the Sunday Times for publishing an article in 1997 in which Barry was named as the true composer. Barry testified for the defense. In court, Barry testified that he had been handed a musical manuscript of a work by Norman meant to become the theme and that he was to arrange it musically, and that he composed additional music and arranged the James Bond theme. The court was also told that Norman received sole credit because of his prior contract with the producers. Barry said that a deal was struck whereby he would receive a flat fee of £250 and Norman would receive the songwriting credit. Barry said that he had accepted the deal with United Artists' head of music Noel Rogers because it would help his career. 
Despite these claims, the jury ruled unanimously in favor of Norman. On the 7th of September 2006, John Barry publicly defended his authorship of the theme on the Steve Wright Show on BBC Radio 2. Topic: <laughs> Personal life and death. Barry was married four times. His first three marriages, to Barbara Picard 1959-63, Jane Birkin 1965-68, and Jane Sidey 1969-78 all ended in divorce. He was married to his fourth wife, Lori, from January 1978 until his death. The couple had a son, John Patrick. Barry had three daughters, Suzanne Susie with his first wife, Barbara, Kate with his second wife, Jane, and Sean from a relationship with Ola Larson between the first two marriages. Susie Barry, who is married to BBC business journalist Simon Jack, is the mother of his two granddaughters, Phoebe and Florence Ingleby. In 1975 Barry moved to California. A British judge later accused him of emigrating to avoid paying £134,000 due the inland revenue. The matter was resolved in the late 1980s and Barry was able to return to the UK. He subsequently lived for many years in the United States, mainly in Oyster Bay, New York, in Center Island on Long Island. From 1980, Barry suffered a rupture of the esophagus in 1988, following a toxic reaction to a health tonic he had consumed. The incident rendered him unable to work for two years and left him vulnerable to pneumonia. Barry died of a heart attack on 30 January 2011 at his Oyster Bay home, aged 77. A memorial concert took place on 20 June 2011 at the Royal Albert Hall in London where the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, Shirley Bassey, Rumour, David Arnold, Wynne Evans and others performed Barry's music. Sir George Martin, Sir Michael Parkinson, Don Black, Timothy Dalton and others also contributed to the celebration of his life and work. The event was sponsored by the Royal College of Music through a grant by the Broccoli Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and nominations In 1999 Barry was made an Officer of the Order of the British Empire OBE, for services to music. He received the BAFTA Academy Fellowship Award in 2005. In 2005, the American Film Institute ranked Barry's score for Out of Africa No. 15 on their list of the greatest film scores. His scores for the following films were also nominated Goldfinger 1964. Born Free 1966 The Lion in Winter 1968 Somewhere in Time 1980 Body Heat 1981 Out of Africa 1986 Dances with Wolves 1990 Topic Accolades Grammy Award 1969 Best Instrumental Theme for Midnight Cowboy 1985 Best Jazz Instrumental Performance, Big Band for the Cotton Club 1985 Best Instrumental Composition for Out of Africa 1991 Best Instrumental Composition for Dances with Wolves Emmy Award nominations 1964 Outstanding Achievement in Composing Original Music for Television for Elizabeth Taylor in London a 1963 television special 1977 Outstanding Achievement in Music Composition for a Special Dramatic Underscore for Eleanor and Franklin, the White House Year's Golden Raspberry Award 1981 Worst Musical Score for The Legend of the Lone Ranger Max Steiner Lifetime Achievement Award, presented by the City of Vienna 2009 Lifetime Achievement Award from World Soundtrack Academy presented at the Ghent Film Festival 2010 Barry was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1998 Topic Discography Topic Bond Films 
Barry worked on the soundtracks for the following James Bond films title song collaborators in brackets Dr. No, 1962, James Bond theme, composed by Monty Norman, as arranged by Barry, used on main and end titles, and key points such as Bond's arrival in Jamaica. From Russia with Love, lyrics by Lionel Bart, 1963. Goldfinger, lyrics by Anthony Newley and Leslie Bricusse, 1964. Thunderball, lyrics by Don Black, 1965. You Only Live Twice Lyrics by Leslie Bricusse 1967 On Her Majesty's Secret Service 1969 Diamonds Are Forever Lyrics by Don Black 1971 The Man with the Golden Gun Lyrics by Don Black 1974 Moonraker Lyrics by Hal David 1979 Octopussy Lyrics by Tim Rice 1983 a View to a Kill, Music and Lyrics by Duran Duran, 1985. The Living Daylights, Music and Lyrics by Paul Wachtar Savoy, 1987. Topic: Other film scores. Topic: Television themes. Juke Box Jury, 1959 to 1967. Dateline, 1962. Elizabeth Taylor in London, Grammy Award nomination, 1963. Impromptu, 1964. Sophia Loren in Rome, 1964. The Newcomers, 1965 to 1969. Vendetta, 1966. The Persuaders, 1971-1972 The Adventurer, 1972-1973 Orson Welles' Great Mysteries, 1973 The Glass Menagerie, 1973 Born Free, 1974 Love Among the Ruins, 1975 Eleanor and Franklin, 1976 Eleanor and Franklin, The White House Years, 1977 The War Between the Tates, 1977 Young Joe, The Forgotten Kennedy, 1977 The Gathering, 1977 The Corn is Green, 1979 Willa, 1979 Svengali, 1983 USA Today, The Television Show, 1988 Topic. Musicals Passion Flower Hotel 1965. Lolita, My Love 1971, a musical comedy, text by Alan J. Lerner based on Vladimir Nabokov's novel Lolita Billy 1974. The Little Prince and the Aviator 1981. Brighton Rock 2004. Topic. Other works Stringbeat 1961. Americans 1975. The Beyondness of Things 1999. Eternal Echoes 2001. The Seasons No Release Date Set Topic. Singles Excludes co-composed hits, e.g. Duran Duran's A View to a Kill. Hit and Miss. As the John Barry 7 plus 4, UK No. 10 first charted 1960. Beat for Beatniks. As the John Barry Orchestra, UK No. 40 1960. Never Let Go. As the John Barry Orchestra, UK No. 49 1960. Blueberry Hill. As the John Barry Orchestra, UK No. 34, 1960. Walk Don't Run. As the John Barry 7, UK No. 11, 1960. Black Stockings. As the John Barry 7, UK No. 27, 1960. The Magnificent Seven. 
as the John Barry 7, UK number no. 45, 1961. Cutty Sark as the John Barry 7, UK number no. 35, 1962. The James Bond theme as the John Barry Orchestra, UK number no. 13, 1962. From Russia with Love as the John Barry Orchestra, UK number no. 39, 1963. Theme from The Persuaders as John Barry, UK number no. 13, 1971. His four highest charting hits all spent more than 10 weeks in the UK top 50. Topic. Sampled by other artists Barry's work began to be sampled in the 1990s by artists such as Dr. Dre and Wu-Tang Clan, with his James Bond theme being sampled by performers as diverse as Bonobo, Gang Star and Junior Reed. Fatboy Slim used the opening guitars from Beat Girl main title for Rockefeller Skank. From his album, You've Come a Long Way, Baby, 1998. The Sneaker Pimps also sampled Golden Girl on their single Six Underground, 1996. Additionally, You Only Live Twice was heavily sampled on Millennium from Robbie Williams' second album, I've Been Expecting You. Barry was set to compose Thomas and the Magic Railroad but left due to scheduling conflicts. <laughs>